All right, now if you need to hang something bigger, we're gonna actually switch into anchors in. now. So we're gonna try these the screw-in anchors. I love these things, super easy to install. You just put that in there, find yourself your hole, and all you do is just twist them till they go in. And if you drive them too far, they actually break. So be a little bit gentle there. And then you just take your screw and you put your screw in right behind it. And we are going to go right to there. Okay. And again, guys, we're looking at this in the orientation of a picture hanger. So there's our weight. All right, Daniel, let's throw these on. We know we can at least get, try not to block the camera, buddy. Well, we knew it would hold the 10 pounds. Let's go ahead, let's throw these on. Just reach in from the side there. Okay. All right. So there you go. We are at 15, 15 pounds. Let's go. Let's put the um, kettlebell on. So we're going to get up to 20 pounds right now. Look at that. Still going strong. No failure of that at all. All right, so I got to get something else to help hang out. All right, guys, I added this little metal thing so we could add more weight to it. So let's go. All right, so we are at 20 pounds. Here's another five. We are at 25 pounds. Daniel, scoot back. This is, this is the area where it starts to get real scary. I'm going to go ahead and move these down here. Daniel, scoot back. All right, let's do this. So we got up to 10, 20. We were at 25 pounds. Here is a 12-pound barbell, guys. That's all I got. Um, let's see if we can stack that on down here. Really not ideal for this, I suppose. Wow. So I'm just going to balance it, but I'm not taking any weight of it. All right, so there's 20, 30, 32 pounds, 37 pounds. Wow. I'm, Daniel, scoot back. Dan, very surprised. Daniel, pick that one up and carry it over here for me. Matthew. You guys all scoot back now. Scoot back. Come here, Matthew. Come here, Matthew. All right, here's 25. All right, back to back to 30. Oh my God, this is amazing, guys. I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't think it was gonna be able to hold this up. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 44, 49 pounds. This little anchor is holding up, oh my gosh. I am actually out of weights. We're going to have to go find more weights, guys. That's all I got. It's still holding strong, too. It doesn't even look like it wants to fail. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, plus the 4, 50, basically 50 pounds. I got another 5. 55. Daddy. Yeah. 60. No way. 60 pounds. Oh, my God. <laughs> Scoot back, guys, in case this in case this lets go. I don't want 65, 67, or six, that's three, 68. Don't let it go, Daddy. Oh my goodness! Don't let it go. That's actually all the weight I could find, guys. I did not expect any of these to hold this much. 10, 20, 30. These are 12s. 34, 37. 40, 50, 60, 65 pounds, guys. That is incredible. Let me let me take this back off now. So I think that these little wall dogs have totally set the benchmark higher than I expected for what they're right, able guys, to do. We're hold. gonna try this one again. The 170 pound, 170 pounds, standing on it. I'm actually almost full weight on it. I mean, kind of holding myself up on the chair. And there you go. And it broke. So that actually was pretty impressive, guys, to be honest with you. I had almost my full body weight, 170 pounds, hanging on that. 
All right, let's test the next one. Is this this is from Walmart? I've never seen these before. These hammer in, and I believe you have to orient them like like sideways. Let's see if it says anything. Oh, it actually has an up arrow. That's even better. All right, so we'll line that up there. kind of interesting. So you hammer that in and then you take the screw that they supplied and you tighten that in and it um, folds up in the back. Daniel, if you want to run around here real quick and show them. Right here, it folded up in the back. See that? So again, I have no doubt after seeing that other drywall anchor I have no doubt all of these will hold up 70-ish pounds in a shear force. Let's try this one. Um, all right, here's the strap. Again, 170 pounds. Um, all right, let's see this. 170 pounds, guys. Amazing. I am, I am actually, I mean, it's just killing the wall, um, but wow, that is amazing. That easily, it did not rip out of the wall, guys. I mean, I had to physically force that down to get that out of the wall. So that is actually quite an amazing anchor. Um, don't hate on those. Okay. Now we're going to try good old fashioned toggle. We're going to install the toggle with the, with the drill. Finally bolt, the guys. toggle bolt. I'm going to use this washer um, only so I have a, uh, a back stopper. You know, something to uh, pull it against. Toggle through. This is an eighth inch toggle, so I'm sure you could probably get even more out of these. And keep in mind, a toggle is not really designed to be left loose like this, so that could have some extra weird effect on it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to slide this just like this. So this isn't really even a good orientation for the toggle because we couldn't get it tight but let's see what it does all right again no doubt it'll hold up the 70 pounds let's go up to 170 don't fall you know don't fall okay I know falling. that's kind of awkward guys I'm kind of scared actually I don't want it to Drop me right on my bottom. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that is, I am, I am hanging on completely. Um, 170 pounds hanging off of a toggle bolt, guys. No. Nope. And in fact, that didn't even fail. That just slipped off the hook. Um, obviously it, dem thanks buddy. Obviously it mangled the crap out of the, the bolt and stuff, it's super bent. So it, uh, you know, it bent the bolt, but it did not pull through the drywall. 470 pounds hanging on it. I even had to kind of jerk my weight on it. Now we're going to put a bracket on here and see how much weight it can hold without ripping out of the wall this way. We're going to start with the drill in anchors. Okay, so there's the screw in anchors there. We're going to go on to those cool Walmart anchors. Walmart. And again, they have the arrow up, arrow up. Okay. 
and then I we're gonna use two of these. I did pre-drill the hole. I felt like that was a much better system. Okay, and then the last two are gonna be toggle bolts. All right, Daniel, come over here. Let's screw this thing into the wall. All right, hold that up there, buddy. All right, we're gonna start. Let go, buddy. Pull, pull the bracket again. Just, just. Okay, buddy, give me the bracket. Perfect. Let go. Let go. All right. So we're gonna screw this one in. And the other one. Okay. We used to hang a lot of wall, like towels and stuff with those. So you can see, I can, I can just push down with my hand and cam those out. So those are garbage for this application. Let's do phase two, the, the cool looking Walmart anchors. Okay. So, you know, if you're going to hang a shelf or shelf bracket, um, these are the ones. The, um, my only beef with these is because those didn't sit flat into the wall, there's a little gap back here. You can see that it's got some rock there, which is just going to mean failure. And again, ah, that's actually doing pretty good. So we're going to throw that on there. These, those are exactly 12 inches out. We're going to throw 12 pounds on there. 12 pounds. It is leaning incredibly hard, although it's not failing yet. And then we are going to go. I'm expecting this to fail, guys. Yeah, that's it. So 12 and then another five, that's gonna make it fall. So basically, if you're gonna can cantilever it out on a shelf, you can, get a, you can get about less than 12 pounds. 12 pounds cause it to start to fail. And then there you go. Then when it fails, Next it one, we're gonna the do wall. these. I hammered these in already. Um, you have to tighten them. Which I never, I didn't really understand. So I guess you just hammer them in and then take them loose. I, I don't I don't really like these. I haven't had good results with these. Maybe somebody has. Uh, leave a comment if I'm doing it wrong or you know a better way. And again, same thing. It's kind of like a toggle bolt. That was the idea seemed great, but they just don't seem to work well. And it could be because I over tighten them. not sure when you stop like I definitely over tighten those so maybe you shouldn't blame the anchor but if it's too hard to put in that's just us it's not worth the crap um, so again way less than 12 pounds for that to fail um, I, I just don't like these I've used them multiple times never had any good success if you were hanging a picture shear force wise though um, it did good, so I guess it depends on. All right, guys. Sorry, the camera was off there. We ran out of battery. Um, I already installed these. Those are uh, an eighth-inch toggle bolt. Um, very, very strong. I mean, you can see I can physically flex this thing. We did this earlier, so I kind of know how much it'll hold. So we'll go 12 pounds. It's actually making my bracket fail. 12 pounds. And there's 24 pounds. And again, guys, those toggle bolts didn't fail at all. What actually happened is I actually started deforming my bracket. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but I actually bent this back plate, um, which kind of sucks. I'll have to fix that because this is actually a finished product that will never, ever have that. So toggle bolts, 12 inch lever, 24 pounds. Nothing wrong with the toggle at all. My actually just my bracket started failing. Um, so I mean, you, you know, in fact, let's see if we can do it. 
I don't know if I can do this, guys. I can. You can see toggle bolts held it no problem. Um, there you go. Two toggle bolts. I'm going to put this back in at the thing so I can hopefully not cause the bracket to fail. Um, I don't, I'm afraid this is going to dump me on my butt. Hundred and seventy pounds. Oh my god. No fall. There you go. Hundred and seventy pounds hanging yeah. on I, I am holding a little bit of my weight up here. We have totally murdered my bracket now, guys. <laughs> I'm actually stuck here. So my my bracket is completely destroyed. But the toggle bolts are not. Completely destroyed my bracket. Not good. At least I know how strong Thanks these are. Thanks for watching. Um, help me out. Hit subscribe, like, any comments that you can. Um, if this helped you out, I kind of had fun. It was neat to see how strong um, just a nail was and then these different hangers. Um, again, depending on your application, obviously can't go wrong with the toggle bolt. Most complicated to install, but really not that hard. And um, I mean, you saw how much weight it was able to hold up. So, any guys, again, Thanks for watching. Um, any subscriptions, comments, likes, anything helps me out. I really thank you guys for watching. See you later.